in southern Illinois and it's dreary and wet and cold, it's always nice to get down to the greenhouse and see, see be in an environment that's warm, see corn growing and be able to take notes. Uh, like today we're looking at phenotypic notes, looking at how the plant looks overall characteristics, plant heights, ear heights, uh, the different colors of anthers and glooms and, and uh, the, the leaf angles and how wide the leaf is. All of these characteristics are really important whenever we're looking to make uh, IP and patents uh, for these varieties so we can protect ourselves, protect our germplasm. It's a critical time uh, here within these next few weeks that we get in and take notes. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to come down here uh, to our research station just south of Anna, uh, take those notes here with Chase Campanella, our, uh, our, our research associate down here, research intern, and uh, see what today has to offer. Ducoin, Illinois. It's a small town in Southern Illinois. And I went to college at Southern Illinois University Carbondale. That's where I met Cullen. He introduced me to the company Master's Choice. Um, I got my degree at SIU in plant biology and I specialized in molecular biochemical physiology. Um, most of my studies involved the inner workings of plants with the molecular. However, I did study the physiology as well, which is what I do with the um, phenotyping of plants here. Uh, we have to use the phenotyping to ensure patents for our products. That way we can differentiate between the parent plant and the inbred, so other companies that we don't want using those yet can't. Here I have the Munsell plant tissue color book. Uh, it's got basically every color that you can have with plants. Um, you take it and you put a piece of either the leaf, the silk, anther behind it and you match it to the specific color. Um, within it I have a basic ruler, however this ruler also allows me to do the angles on the leaves and the tassel branches. Over to my side here I've got this big old stick which I use to measure the plant height, um, the entire plant height that is. Uh, I actually have a third portion to it but it's a little too tall for the greenhouse. So now that we know a little bit about the items that I'm using, um, why don't I show you how we use them on the plants itself. In addition to all the work that's being done here at the greenhouse with phenotyping and pollinations, the, the real underlying uh, uh, system of this is teaching the next generation, uh, teaching Chase specifically how the R&D process works from beginning to end. I think there's uh, something to be said about taking ownership of your work and, and putting someone in a position to fail and make mistakes and learn. And that's something Chase has done a really good job of is learning how this, 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 this system works here at Master's Choice and how he can be uh, uh, beneficial for the overall process, not just with the, the application, but at tying in his academia and what he's learned at SIU in his, his career there and, and actually ap applying it into uh, something like phenotyping. And 
uh, now that the day's done here in the greenhouse, uh, the next step we've got is moving into harvest and uh, taking the data that we've collected here with phenotyping and applying it to our patents that we're, we're applying for and, and filing here within the next uh, few weeks. Uh, looking at harvest, the things, the ears that we have in here, looks like it's going to be another great crop. Uh, and then looking forward to taking all that seed and getting it ready for uh, in the field this next summer.